This one worries me, Chris. Sell coffee with a cancer warning. Yeah. Now, this is in the Daily Mail. I mean, I, I, the second I get up in the morning, the coffee. first thing I do is have that coffee. And throughout the day, I do drink more than I probably should. Yeah. But it's my thing. I like I like having a cup of coffee That's with right, me. Yeah. Should I be worried? Uh, uh, no, I, I wouldn't be worried. But it's interesting. This actually comes from uh, America, uh, a US judge in California. It could only happen in California, I tell you. <laughs> Where else? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and, and what, what the, uh, this judge is saying is that... Um, Coffee cups from shops like Starbucks, etc., etc., should carry health warnings, a cancer warning, similar to cigarette packets on the coffee cups from the coffee company. Really? Yeah, no. The, uh, he's actually ordered Starbucks and other companies to actually do this. It's a legal decision, but of course they're going to appeal, but nevertheless, he's made that decision. And it's from a group of um, sort of um, people keen to, you know, remove the cancer causing agents in foods uh, that took on 90 coffee drink manufacturers and won their case. And basically the claim is based on the fact that brewed coffee has high levels of a chemical called acrylamide, which is a known carcinogen. It can cause cancer. Mm. And um, it, it's produced, certainly with coffee, by the roasting process. It's when thing, is, is it right in saying it's when certain things have been cooked at a specific high temperature? Yeah, yeah, yes, you're right. High temperature, roasting, grilling, yeah. and especially sort of a, a burning or roasting yeah. effect increases this level of Because they talk about it with, when you're char grilling things as well, yes. right? You need to be That's careful. Right. Uh, and that, that was in the news just in the past yeah. couple of weeks. But Chris, yeah. are we just not going to be walking around in day-to-day -day life just seeing these photos now yeah. on pretty much 90% of things that well, are, well, are bad for us around us? Well, walking well. along a road, you better wear a mask because them fumes, but, like the cars carry them. But my paranoid brain is like, I'm just going <laughs> to... Just only going to no. eat things that grow out the ground. <laughs> yeah, but then, <laughs> then, then it'll be next week. Oh, don't touch them no, apples. I, I know them that's apples what I mean. Yeah. There's always yeah. something. All of a sudden, we'll just be well, well, I, I, eating I, leaves yeah. again. <laughs> you know, a few weeks back, I was talking to a cancer specialist. And he said, "Look, he said there are." items in everything that enters your body through your nose or through your mouth that are potential carcinogens but your body is very effective at counteracting them with its own immune system right. it's when these carcinogens get to a certain high level mm. but actually, just coming back to the california story the um the the i mean the, they've always required clear wo uh, wordings on, on a wide range of chemicals that are in food and um basically the judge in this case said the coffee companies failed to prove that acrylamide was not harmful to health mm. however the the who has removed coffee from its list of carcinogens and it's actually has been shown to a lower risk of certain cancers it's going to roll on isn't it so yeah well look I, I, to me, I wouldn't be worried at all. No. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Chris. Thank you. <laughs>